I'm Sariana. And I'm Erin. And this, and this is, is Pirate Plug. Thursday and Friday marked the end of Court Warring Week. Thursday was Meme Day, and the winners of Meme Day were Kellen Brownfield and Jody Bass. There was also an FFA chapter meeting during Pirate Time. Lucas Ziegelbein interviewed Lauren Luscombe. Hi, I'm Lucas Ziegelbein here with Lauren Luscombe, asking about FFA. So, how was your chapter meeting? Our chapter meeting went well. Last chapter meeting was to focus on the leadership and our one of our leadership classes set up a bunch of games for us to play. And uh, how often do you guys meet? Once a month. All right, you're already here. Back to you. Thanks, Lucas. Friday was the court warming game and dance. All of the basketball teams played. JV girls won, and they now have a record of 7-5. JV boys lost 49-60. Varsity girls won 52-36, with Jamie Lemons scoring 25 of those points. Varsity boys lost 61-59. Avery Reardon had the most points with 19. In between games, the court warming king and queen were announced. Congratulations to Maddie Weber and Ethan Weibel. Lucas Ziegelbein interviewed Maddie Weber. Hi, I'm Lucas Ziegelbein here with Maddie Weber. We're asking you about how's it feel to be court wing queen. It's been a super fun time so far. I was really excited on Friday, and I'm really honored that everybody voted for me. All right, and uh, were you surprised? Of course I was surprised. I was super happy, though, and it was a nice surprise. All right, you've heard it here. Back to you. Thanks, Lucas. On Tuesday, varsity boys basketball played the first round in the Southern Moon Tournament. They lost 57 to 59, scoring a total of 23 points in the fourth quarter. Clint Penny interviewed Samaj Clark. I'm Clint Penny, and I'm here with Samaj Clark. So, Samaj, can you tell me your thoughts on the game? It was a great game, hit some big shots, but it wasn't enough for us to win. All right, how about you tell me about your last free throw that you took? Uh, after the shot, coach called the timeout, and we tried to throw it off the backboard and get it back, but it didn't work out good. All right. Uh, Back to you. Thanks, Clint. They'll play again on Thursday. Angelina Hine also traveled to Jefferson City with FCCLA to shadow the Missouri Lieutenant Governor. On Wednesday, there was a speech meeting during Pirate Time. FCCLA stayed in Jefferson City. There was also JV and varsity wrestling against Hallsville at home. It was senior night. Unfortunately, they lost 24 to 34. This week, Drama has been reading through their script for their upcoming play. Cool. So, it's the part... I love books! Street Bowl Alley. Oh, cool. Bowling school, too. Clint Penny interviewed Isaiah Kaufman. Well, sometimes we read, like, poetry and memorize it to perform in front of class. Sometimes we read, like, play scripts to think what play we're going to do at the end of the year, and we practice and we do the play. Uh, okay. What are you guys currently doing in Drama? Right now we're practicing scripts to work uh, for the play in two to three weeks. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. Dope. Back to you. Thanks, Clint. This has been Pirate Plug. Thanks for watching.